So out of all, all the fights that Alan Mortlock has promoted, um, is there any of the fighters that you would have liked to have fought? Yeah, well, you know, they, they, are, they, they train hard and everything, but they ain't in the same bracket that we was when, when we was doing the unlicensed fights. And I've often sat there and thought, cool, I wish, you know, if I was getting the money I was getting, I'd, I'd fight any of them. There was no, no one there that, you know, sort of worried me. Even now, you wouldn't mind making a comeback? No. I still train regular, I'm fit, and uh, I'm, I'm a more explosive fighter than, than what they, they are anyway. You know, I, I, I would have, I would have took any, any, any one of them on. So you wouldn't mind a fight I wouldn't mind a fight in heaven, no. I was even thinking about making a comeback. <laughs> so from the day you were born, did you know that you were a natural fighter? No, I didn't know. It's only when my, my dad died and um, the bullies were after me and I whacked some and I found out I had the gift of God, gift for a power of punch. And then I, you know, went to a senior school and I had the same thing there, the bullies, but I'd, I'd done them. So then we went into the, the schoolboy boxing. And I got to the schoolboy finals of Great Britain. And uh, from there on, uh, I was kept boxing. I had loads of amateur fights, got into the ABAs, and uh, everything was all right. And then, then, I, then I started going to um, silly things. I was going in the army, <coughs> and that's when I found out I couldn't um, stand authority telling me what to do. And I used to get this adrenaline rush come up to me, and, and I used to whack, whack the sergeants, and, and whoever, whoever was ordering me about, you know. And so they stuck me in Colchester, that's the army prison, and I was knocking them out, because was, they was called staff sergeants in there. And so I was, all right, sergeant. He said, don't you call me sergeant, it's staff. Oh, uh, bang, whacked him. And then they, they banged me up all the time in there. Then they sent me to Germany out the way. Then I started rowing over there with the authority because they was telling me what to do. And then they stuck me in a nut house in Germany, giving me ECT on my head and everything. Then they sent me to a nut house in England and then they slung me out in the army. From Jason Mariner, he wanted to know, uh, he said that the hardest prison system that he was in was Wandsworth. What was the hardest prison system that you felt that you were in? Yeah, well, it would have been Wandsworth, yeah. Uh, and why, why was it so hard? Well, they was on your, they was on you all the time, and that, there was plenty of screws about, and so you, you couldn't do what you wanted to do or anything. You know, you, you just, you know, you just had to play the game with them. And that's the only prison I never got into much trouble. Well, I did. I, I was, um, I knocked a couple of geezers out, and they stuck me over to what they call H and K wing. And uh, there was a fellow over there, Big M Mitchell. Um, he was in Broadmoor, broke out of Broadmoor. Frank was here, the Frank, Mad Actor. Fra Mad Actor from Frank Mitchell. Yeah. Yeah. We, you know, he came and cuddled me as I walked around on exercise. Because I, I was in there for a robbery of um, 12 taxi drivers. And um, he said, you had all load of um, publicity. And he said, Roy, all the publicity you had, that's what done me. And, come, and we made friends. And he was a lovely, lovely man, a real gentleman. Dave Courtney. He wants. He wants to know what was your. What did you think was your best performance in the boxing ring? When I fought uh, Ron Stander. Because that was your toughest fight. He was the toughest fight and the best fight. He was third in the world. You can't get no better than that, can you? Okay. What kept you going in your worst moments in prison? Did you think about? So he said it was his daughter that kept him going. No, I um. I was a bit of a rascal in there, so I was um banged up most of the time and so I um I just used to concentrate on doing exercise. I knew my wife was messing about so I wrote her off. The kids were with her so that was it. So I had friends but um they was well I had a lovely friend called Ray Mills, he came all the way from Birmingham to see me and uh you know it's close friends come and visit me, that was all so no being on your own and uh, in the prison and I was banged up most of the time in a solitary confinement. I went to 18 different prisons because I was a bit of a rascal. I didn't, you know, I hated authority telling me what to do. When the screws used to open the door, there was about four or five of them there, you know, just in case I started. This is a question from Ronnie Knight. Yeah. Uh, he wants to know, what, what woman are you with now, Roy? I've just got a new one called Lorraine. <laughs> lovely, lovely little girl. 
uh, and he said that you, you know, he said uh, that you, you like to ask people to marry them. Marry them. Uh, is, 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 is that marriage on the cards on this one? You're not sure. No, I just met her. <laughs> it's a bit early, yeah. Yeah, it's early. Yeah. Do you prefer having a fight in the ring or outside the ring? Well, the outside ones are a, a lot easier than the one in, inside. Why is that? Because they're over quicker. Yeah. Well, I done you know, when I first started. I done three, three, three fights with three gypsies, uh, bare knuckle, and uh, you know I knocked them out. So that was you know. That was easier. That was easier than you know the train fighters. Was it a tough childhood or was it was it okay? No, it was. Um, a tough childhood because I was always bullied because I was very, I was only small. You know, I was schoolboy champion of Great Britain, but I was only six down one when I left school, you know, so, uh, and small. And so, me, my younger years, well, well, when I got to the end of my school time, I was older than my own, you know, I could have a fight. And I, and I was a bit far away, I must admit. Anybody only had to say boo, because I was always small, I, I was whacking them. And it soon got around us, that's all sure. Like, that's that all sure. And I used to go up the hill for Pally, who used to help the bouncers out if they had any trouble. And Billy Walker was one of the bouncers there and all, you know. But um, they had the big fire from Canyon Sound come down and, and causing trouble up there around Christmas time. New Year's thing, pulling all the blinds, the, you know, the, the balloons and all that down. And uh, I was on the run from Bolster and I was whacking them and I, I cut, me, cut me lip. When the police come in, they was only too happy to get hold of me because I was on the run from Ballstorm. So they took me, nicked me, and I got three years up in the, for knocking the um, doctor out and nicking his car from the Ballstorm. You escaped, didn't you? Yeah, I escaped, yeah. yeah. And that's when I went back to Swansea. And the, and the, they, <laughs> they're funny, the Welsh people, because they, they kept saying, we well, think you're a London gangster. And I was whacking them. So they put me in lo locked me up and then they stuck me over to the hospital wing, out of, out of the way of everybody. And normally, when you get sentenced there, they keep you in there for about three months, then move you to another nick. Well, I went to court on a Tuesday, I was moved to another nick on a Friday. They just let me in and out, because I was a bit of a problem there. A bit of a problem there. And that's when they sent me to uh, Maidstone, and I was still a bit of a problem, that's when I smashed through the door. Question from a boxer. And he said, um, if, if you had your time again, would you change anything? Well, there's only one thing I would change. I, I was with a lovely girl, and then I, I met another girl, went with her, and she found out and left, and that was the, the only, she was a lovely, lovely lady. So that's the only mistake I'd, I'd, I'd change. You know, I mean, since I've come out, the only thing I can do is have a rah, <coughs> and earn all my money through the fights, put it into business and uh, now you know, I'm a successful businessman. I can't be more happier than I am now.